Good evening, sword friends. Alright, so I've owned my Sino Sword slash Jaku Unakubi for roughly eight months now, and I've used it pretty much every day for at least 15 to 15 minutes to an hour or more. Like daily use, I've performed thousands upon thousands of cuts with it. Thousands of draws, everything. This sword has seen very, very heavy use. So I figured I would do a little checkup on it to show you how it's the wear and tear and whatnot. I even made it look like a doctor's office with the fucking paper towels. So we'll start off with the, uh, the uh, handle, which is actually really nice. Other than some discoloration and fading, everything is... I would even say tighter than when I got it. Like, I've had several katana fucking the wrap just come loose after, like, less than a week. I mean, on multiple swords, not just once. Happened a lot. I mean, you can see it's starting to get a little shiny from all my hand oil, but, I mean, that just gives it character and... Like I said, it's still, it's, I would say it's even tighter. And, like I said, it's fucking good, man. I couldn't ask for anything more. And let's show you what kind of damage I've done to the, uh, the Saya here. You can see all those, I mean, walking around with it, running into stuff, slamming it in the door. Horns have got a couple chips out of it, but again, I fill it in with Sharpie where I can, and if not, oh well, it's a weapon. It's not meant to be freaking pristine, like what kind of swordsman would I be if my sword didn't have scratches and scuffs and things from use? But anyhow, now let's get to the fun part where a lot of the wear shows, but also the quality of the sword also comes through. So bear with me for a second. Sword, I'm going to have to please ask you to remove your saya and turn your suba and cough. <coughs> All right, here we go. And... As you can see, the blade, you uh, probably can't see because I'm an idiot with the camera angle, but the blade is still 100% straight. I've taken numerous, I mean, at least a dozen chunks out of the stand at this point. And what I, I mean, it's got a lot of cool activity in the blade, but I got to cut with it. I can't just, you know, so I've heavily used it, but I like how you can still view the, uh, lamination and folding patterns and what have you on the, uh, bottom of the blade. And then as we move up the blade, you can just see the myriad of scratches. This blade has seen heavy, heavy use. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit of discoloration either from some pumpkin guts or like a bottle of fucking pool cleaner or fucking muriatic acid I pulled out of somebody's freaking recycling bin. But uh, yeah, anyhow, but like I said, it's got numerous scratches and scuffs, but everything is still straight. Ooh, there's a really good angle. You can see all of the... Like, I mean, that's not disfiguring. Like, each one of those scratches is a really nice cut. Or a chunk out of the stand. Or at least an attempt. And it shows improvement. It's almost like, you know, notches on the belt or what have you. Like, I don't see it as disfigurement. I see it as, like, yeah, this is a very well-made, well heavily used, well-put-together sword. Let's see if we can, you can see the, uh, I mean, you get what I'm saying with the straightness. I mean, I check it with the laser level, I check it on the tabletop, I check it in the neighbor's siding, and it's still, still true. 
But, yeah, I mean, like I said, freaking, it has held up really well. I've used this sword every single day for a solid eight months. Banged it around all over the place, fucking bunch of bad cuts, hitting the stand, all sorts of stuff. And the sword has held up beautifully. Like, I can't thank Sino Sword enough because I've just... I mean, I haven't found a sword. This is my sword. Like, if you saw my two-blade Kami challenge, this is the sword that I would pick. And it's just because I am proficient with it. And it's taken a licking, and it's keeping on ticking, I guess. But, yeah, there she is, so... Pretty excited. I got my uh, the Huey handle that came apart that's actually being rewrapped as we speak and should hopefully get that back within a couple weeks. And as long as it's cool with the dude that does it, I'll do a review and a shout out and whatnot and show you some of this guy's work. But anyhow, I almost forgot. All right, still, still retains in the side. That's what I like to see. Eight months and still fucking my go-to sword. So that's about all I got, guys. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Ooh, shiny skin oil. Some sniffles for ya. Yeah, see there's a lot of the, the nicks. That actually was uh I I don't know what I was doing, but I hit the bottom of the side with the sword. I'll admit it. That took quite a lot of Sharpie to fill in. But anyway, again, thanks for watching. Have a good one.